Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist, Spiritual Teacher here. Well, what do you think this is? Isn't that beautiful flower there? Uh, almost like an orchid. It really is pretty. This is a insulin plant, and it grows in the States, in the uh, Florida, in the Gulf States, anywhere it was subtropical, tropical area, and it's really great for lowering blood sugar in general and does an amazing job of that and so many other things lowering cholesterol and lowering blood pressure and on and on and on it really has no side effects whatsoever and i highly recommend it and you can actually take one of these leaves and chew on it and uh, you can take two leaves a day or you can make tea with it either way and it's been used for thousands of years and uh, a lot of research now about it. Uh, wasn't too much research about it before, but now a lot of people were, you know, getting into natural remedies for diabetes. And this is one of the things that they're looking at. And uh, it's not only for diabetes, but a lot of different things. And it's called Co uh, Coctus Egenius. And it's about 150 different species of different looking little flowers, but they all have the same uh, effect on the blood sugar and that type of thing. So really interesting. Kind of originated in the States, in the lower uh, Florida and that area, Georgia, that kind of stuff. And uh, But it's all around the world now. Everybody has it. And uh, you can find it on Amazon and eBay uh, as uh, powders and capsules and that type of thing. And there's a few companies that make uh, the powders now and really does a great job. And it works great for type 2 diabetes and blood sugar in general. It actually stimulates the insulin to work better and really does a great job. You can find it at these plants in the U.S. and Central America, South America, Caribbean, Asia, India, and all over the world. Really uh, just about anywhere in I've seen the plants once in a while on eBay, so you can buy the plants also. It has a lot of different names, Fiery Coctus. Uh, in India, it's called K-A-U-K-E-N-D. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. <laughs> oh, insulin plants, stepladder, spiral flag, and a few other names. Uh, also, Coctus Ingenius Nak. Uh, also, a whole bunch of different uh, names uh, throughout the Americas. The leaves are generally what people use to make tea out of. It. Most people make tea, and some people chew on it. But uh, most people make tea uh, with it. It has a lot of different uh, phyto compounds that uh, stimulate insulin to uh, do its work, and it contains a lot of rich. Proteins, iron, uh, a lot of beta carotene and tocopherols, also col colosauric acid, um, also sapogenic acid, tannins, flavonoids, fructose, saponins, uh, steroidal compounds, all kinds of different things that do work together in a great way to make you healthy. Also, uh, can lower your blood sugar as much as from 68 to 75 percent and that's a whopping amount that's amazing also the leaves contain palmitic acid which also helps as a powerful antioxidant and lowering blood sugar and stimulating the pancreas to do its work also contains a lot of fructose which is also good for uh, the growth of good bacteria in the gut it lowers blood pressure if you have high you know, diastolic and then systolic blood pressure, which is uh, popping off the roof. <laughs> you might want to take some insulin plant and lower that back down. Really does a great job. Also great for sore throats because it has so many antioxidants in it. And antioxidants help with inflammation. And that's another thing I'll get into here. You want to make tea with it. Take a couple of little leaves and cut it up. Uh, kind of fine, the finer you you cut it up to make the more the agents you're going to get out of it and uh, actually boil it for about 10 minutes and then drink three cups uh, and drink boil it for about 10 minutes and then drink two to three cups daily. Most people drink two, one in the morning, one at night, and you could chew on the leaves, one in the morning, one at night also. 
<laughs> and do this for about 30 days. At the end of 30 days, you can only, you know, you can just take one and it'll do fine. You'll be fine. Uh, also, it kills bacteria as far as some of the bad bacteria, as far as uh, Staphylococcus and uh, Pseudomonas and Klebsiella and Salmonella and different types of bacteria, which are, you know, causing problems. Also, it's high in antioxidants, as I said, and gets rid of free radicals, and free radicals are the things that lead to inflammation and disease, so we want to get rid of those free radicals as much as possible. Powerful anti-inflammatory. Study shows that it reduces inflammation by 97%, so that's a whopping amount of you know, reduction in inflammation. If you have some kind of inflammatory reaction going on in your whole body, you might want to take some insulin uh, plant for that. Does a great job of lowering down uh, toxins in the liver and also helps with fatty liver disease and because it has uh, lots of different antioxidants in it. So take the tea two or three times daily and that's a good detoxing agent for the liver in general also. It's a good diuretic. It'll make you go to the bathroom. Maybe you will pee with this. <laughs> Absolutely, positively. And induces urine production. Uh, take it early in the evening if you don't want to get up a whole bunch of times at night. <laughs> and it also cleanses the kidneys and uh, reduces water retention. If you're you know, holding on to a bunch of water, water weight, this is a good way to go. Also helps with bladder stones, and there's studies showing that it can actually uh, help to prevent, you know, production of bladder stones. It's great for cancer because there's so many antioxidants, and antioxidants help prevent cancer. So eating all those great uh, cancer-preventing foods, you know, all the greens are amazing, all the fruits are amazing. These keep cancer away, and and you know, things like this, like insulin plant, can also help because they are so packed full of wonderful antioxidants. Also, uh, it also helps with lowering down cholesterol, and studies show that it helps with LDL cholesterol, or some people call it bad cholesterol. It's really not bad, but it's just uh, that component which causes you know cholesterol buildup in the uh, arteries. Also, it helps to increase LDL cholesterol, also with a good cholesterol. And helps with asthma and bronchitis because it has so many wonderful anti-inflammatory compounds in it, which help to, you know, bring down the inflammation of the bronchi so you can breathe easy, open up the bronchi again, and so you can, you know, not be gasping for air. And it's, having asthma is one of the worst things because you just can't breathe. And uh, try holding your breath for a while. You'll understand. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Great stuff for asthma and bronchitis. Also, like I said, it helps with urinary stones. Uh, it can boost up your memory and, uh, and learning capabilities also. So because of all these antioxidants, it, everything you take, every food you eat, every uh, herb you take, every supplement you take influences your brain. Absolutely, positively. And most people don't think that, but, you know, absolutely everything is interconnected with how your mood is and how you feel, you know, whether you feel up and beat and full of excitement or whether you feel down and, you know, dragging. And if you just ate one particular you know, thing that was full of fat and that kind of stuff, you wonder why you feel bad. Uh, fruits and vegetables pick you up and make you feel great and you have a lot of energy. So that's important also. Also boost up your immune system. If you have, you know, a weak immune system or your tired immune system or you're, you know, you've just been through a lot of disease processes and you think that, you know, boy, I'm not going to get well. I've had all these you know, colds and flus and I keep having all this stuff and it's not working for me. And uh, try some insulin plant. It'll boost up your immune system. As far as side effects go, there have not in any of the literature been shown in people any side effects whatsoever. I do believe it to be good for, uh, not not for those who are pregnant, nursing, or small children. I think that's uh, off the bat in general. 
and I recommend it for seven to ten days and then take a break up to a week and then come back and use it again. And it's not for those, like I said, pregnant nursing or small children. Uh, also, if you're taking, you know, any kind of medication for diabetes, it might interact with that. So uh, it may <laughs> drop your blood sugar way too much. So, you know, take it with uh, a little bit of caution and common sense <laughs> at the same time. So these are, are, this is a wonderful plant that can be used in a, or on a regular basis. You can grow it in your backyard. You know what? You just take off the leaves at the bottom and stick this in the ground. I've done it many times. <laughs> it'll wilt at first, but then all of a sudden it'll come back up and start growing and you have to chop it off. It'll get to be about four feet tall, but then you just take and cut up pieces, you know, three, four inch pieces, stick it in the ground all over and it will end up where you'll have some wonderful flowers like this. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that great? I uh, I love flowers in general, but if you want to grow your own, really simple, really nice, and it'll work great on a pot also. If you don't have a garden, and you can put it into a big pot and grow it, and then you'll have insulin plant for, you know, yeah, I would take it, if you live in the cold area of the snow and that type of thing, bring it in the house. It would work great as a tropical plant in the house also, as long as it gets a lot of sun. It likes a lot of sun, so it will work great. And uh, you could put some natural fertilizer on there also, and it, it does a great job. It grows kind of like a weed. It really does. And doesn't need a lot of care whatsoever. And will do your body good. And you can also buy it as a powder and capsules and tinctures and all kinds of different things on Amazon and eBay and uh, anywhere online. They might have it at your health food stores. Most people don't. Uh, but you can grow your own and you can actually find it online so you can have it all year round. So remember to uh, try some insulin plant and remember that uh, we are all connected as one being in general. You ever read the book, uh, The Holographic Universe? It's really interesting that not too long ago, uh, the Japanese actually did a study to show that we are, there's some kind of holographic projection going on and they tested this theory and it was, as far as they could tell, it's really real. Somewhere we're being projected from some place. And Max Bohr, uh, all, Michael Talbot, all these different, and lots of different physicists that talk about this, uh, that we're some kind of process going on here that we're all a part of. And what's going on? I really, really don't know. But we seem to think we're separate from one another. But the reality is we are all one being, all one collective, all one mankind, or all, not only mankind, I think from my own standpoint, we'd have to be uh, pretty self-indulgent to think we're only ones in the universe. I think there are lots and lots of beings in the universe. I think even the... Uh, Many of the great speak uh, seers and people like Sai Baba and Divine Mother, and all the others talked about the fact that there are thousands upon thousands of other uh, societies in the universe. And I think that uh, has to be because uh, if we're the only ones, we're pretty sad. <laughs> I like to think that we're somebody else even more intelligent. <laughs> and uh, we could have some kind of synergy, I think, in the, in the future, absolutely positively. I believe we'll have interactions of some kind when we go out into space and uh, connect with these people and uh, from other, other places in the, in the galaxy and other places in the universe. And uh, I know that we'll end up kind of having some kind of synergy with them and finding a way to create peace on this planet. And I know we can do that. You know, I think that um, if we would all gather together and understand that we are one, we wouldn't have any wars. We wouldn't have any starvation. We wouldn't have any lack of housing. or wouldn't have any problems in the world. We would actually solve them all. But we see ourselves as separate, and it's not the reality. The reality is every time I do something bad to you, I'm actually hurting myself. And so we have to stop this and allow ourselves to see the oneness of everything. 
And when we connect with that, everything will change. So have a wonderful day. Try some uh, beautiful insulin plant. Make some tea, chew on the leaves, uh, buy some powder. If you want to get a hold of me, my phone number is 831-869-9119. 831-869-9119. My email is drpaulhater at gmail.com. That's drpaulhater at gmail.com. That's P-A-U, D-R-P-A-U-L-H-A-I-D-E-R at gmail.com. My Skype address is Dr. Paul Hader also. And you can text me, WhatsApp me, uh, phone me, call me before 8 p.m. because I go to bed at that time. So <laughs> make sure that I'm up and awake because I don't answer the phone when I'm in bed. <laughs> so anyway, if you want to uh, get a hold of me, feel free. I have a quick question. I'll be ha happy to answer it for you. If you want to do a consultation, we can get you on the road to feeling really great. That's the way to go. We can move you in that direction. I also watch the new movie, The Game Changers, which will be on Netflix on the 16th. Uh, the, the Game Changers, all about people going... All the athletes going plant-based, even Arnold Schwarzenegger, or, you know, um, Brody, and a whole bunch of different people are going plant-based, and even NFL teams are going plant-based. So uh, watch this movie. It's really amazing stuff. And um, some of the strongest men in the world are plant-based, and on and on and on. So have a great day. Remember your insulin plant, and remember, remember God, and remember, I love you.